Welcome back everybody to Mr. Navarrete and today I'll be going over Hess's Law number two. So let's get started. For number one, we are told that we want to follow the reaction to make strontium carbonate. We are told that these are our three steps. So let's see which ones are going to cancel, see how we can get the reaction that we need. First reaction has a strontium solid as a reactant, which is what I want. My third reaction has the solid carbon, that's what I want. My second reaction has the strontium carbonate as a product, which is also what we want. And first and third one have the oxygens there already. So let's see what can cancel. Strontium oxides will cancel. Carbon dioxide will cancel. And one mole of strontium, one mole of carbon, uh, one plus a half, so that's three over two, and one mole of the strontium carbonate. So it looks like it's all set up already for us. So we can just add up all of our enthalpies and get an enthalpy of the reaction of negative 1,220 kilojoules. For number two, we want to find the enthalpy for this reaction here. And these are our three steps. So let's see how we can manipulate. Right off the bat, my first reaction has my C2H2, which we want as a product. It has it as a reactant. So I know I'm gonna have to flip it. So doing that will change my enthalpy from negative to positive. The second reaction has one mole of carbon dioxide, but I have two moles of carbon dioxide. So I know I'm gonna have to multiply that one by two. So doing that will double my enthalpy to negative 787 kilojoules. For my last reaction, since I have water as a reactant now, and this one has water as a product, and water is nowhere in my final reaction, I know they need to cancel. So I'm going to just keep that one as is. So my enthalpy is not going to change. Looking to see what's going to cancel. Waters will cancel. I have two moles of oxygen here and half a mole there. Adding those together will total five and a half moles. So those will cancel. I have two moles of carbon dioxide, two moles of carbon dioxide there. So all I am left with is the two carbon moles, the mole of hydrogen gas, and my one mole of C2H2. So the enthalpy for that reaction adding them together would just be 156.7 kilojoules for three same thing this is the reaction that we want we are given our three steps so let's see how we can manipulate them first reaction has methane as a product but i need it as a reactant so i'm gonna have to flip it doing that will change its enthalpy from positive to negative for the second reaction since i can just keep it as is since it'll cancel out my hydrogens so no change to the enthalpy there. And for the third one, it has carbon dioxide as a product. I need it as a product. So I can just keep that one as is. No changes there for the enthalpy either. Seeing what cancels, I'm gonna cancel out my two moles of hydrogen, one mole of carbon on each side, and I'm left with one mole of methane, one mole and one mole of oxygen, so two moles of oxygen, two moles of water and one mole of carbon dioxide, which is exactly what the reaction calls for. So the enthalpy for my final reaction would just be negative 754.18 kilojoules. For number four, let's see how we can manipulate our reactions. Looking at my first reaction, I have two moles of C2H2, but the reaction only wants one mole. So I'm gonna divide this one by two. So doing that, I get one mole of C2H2. Since I originally had five moles of oxygen, I have five over two. Instead of having four moles of CO2, I have two. And instead of having two moles of water, I'm only gonna have one. So I can divide my enthalpy by two. So I get negative 1300 kilojoules. For the second reaction, that's the only one that has C2H6. And I need that one as a product, not a reactant. So I'm going to flip it, but I'm also going to divide it by two since I have two moles of C2H6 and I only need one. 
So flipping it and dividing it by two. So that will change my enthalpy from negative to positive and then dividing it by two to 1560 kilojoules. I'm gonna kind of take a step to see what we can, we've canceled so far. So my two carbon dioxides will cancel. My oxygens are about to cancel. I have three moles of water and I have one mole of water here. So I have two moles of water that I need to cancel. Luckily, my third reaction has water as a product. And since I have two moles of water that I need to cancel, I can just multiply that one by two. So doing that will double my enthalpy to negative 572 kilojoules. Seeing what will actually cancel now. I have the two moles of water plus one more. That is going to be three in total. So that'll cancel. I have five halves and one whole oxygen molecule. So adding those together will be seven halves. Those will cancel. My carbon dioxides will cancel. So all I am left with is one mole of C2H2, two moles of H2 and C2H6, which is exactly what we needed. So my enthalpy for that reaction is just going to be negative 312 kilojoules. For number five, we want to find the enthalpy for the making of chloroform. So let's see what we have. My first reaction has only one mole of HCl, but I need to make three moles. So I can multiply that reaction by three. So multiplying my enthalpy by three will give me an enthalpy of negative 276.93 kilojoules. For the second step, I have methane as a product but I need it as a reactant so I can flip that reaction. So doing that will turn my enthalpy from negative to positive to 74.81 kilojoules. My third reaction has chloroform as a product already. So I'm just going to bring that one down as is. So no changes to my enthalpy there. Now let's see what's going to cancel. I have half a mole of hydrogen here and three halves. So that's going to give me two moles in total. And I have two moles as a product there. So those will cancel. I have my carbons will cancel and I'm left with methane, my chlorine gas, HCl and my chloroform. So three halves of CO2 and another three halves of CO2 will give me three moles, which is what I need. Cool. So then my enthalpy for that reaction at the end would just be negative 336.59 kilojoules. For number six, we have our three steps. We are told that this is our reaction. Let's see what we can do. So just kind of thinking out loud, each of my three steps has carbon dioxide as a product. So looking at that isn't gonna tell us which one we need to flip and which one we need to keep as is. My first reaction is the only one that has the iron solid as a product. So that's what we want. So we can keep that one as is. My third reaction is the only one that has the iron oxide and I need that as a reactant. So I know I'm gonna have to flip that one. For the first reaction, I kept it going in the same direction, but I multiplied it by three. So that'll triple my enthalpy to negative 84 kilojoules. The second reaction, now I can, I'm going to have three moles of the iron three oxide, which will cancel out the three moles of the iron three oxide from the second one. So I can flip that one. It'll change my enthalpy from negative to positive. For the third reaction, I need to get my iron two oxide as a reactant. So I'm going to flip it, but I also need to multiply it by two. That way my iron four oxides will cancel each other out. So doing that, multiplying by two and flipping my reaction will give me an enthalpy of negative 76 kilojoules. Seeing what will cancel, well, my iron four oxides will cancel. I have three carbon monoxides here. So this will make it instead of nine carbon monoxides, I'll have six. I have three carbon dioxides. So those will cancel to give me six over here as well. Three iron, three oxides will cancel. So all I am left with is 
six iron two oxides, six carbon monoxides, six irons, and six carbon dioxides. So writing that out, adding my enthalpies together will give me a change of negative 101 kilojoules. But that's not what we're asked for. We want to find just for one. But when we have six times as that, so dividing my reaction by six and dividing my enthalpy by six will give me an enthalpy of the reaction of 16.8 kilojoules. For number seven, let's see what we can do. I have three hydrogens there. Those will cancel. I have three oxygen molecules will cancel. Three waters will cancel. So then all I'm going to be left with is two moles of ammonia, three moles of dinitrogen oxide, four moles of nitrogen, and three moles of water. Hey, that's exactly what we need. So I can just add up my enthalpies to get my final one to be negative 1,010 kilojoules. For number eight, this is the reaction that we want to find the enthalpy for. We are given each of our three steps. So let's do it. My first reaction has a CLF as a reactant, which is what I need. So I'm just going to keep that one as is. So no changes to my enthalpy there. Or looking at what's ahead, my third reaction is the only one that has the CLF3. So I have that one as a reactant here, but I need it as a product. So I can flip my third reaction, which will give me three oxygen difluorides as reactants. I already have one, this one will give me another two, so I can just keep that one as is, bring that one down and no changes in enthalpy there. And I can just flip my third reaction, so it'll change my enthalpy from positive to negative. Looking at what will cancel, I have two moles of oxygen here, we'll cancel out with those. I have three moles of oxygen difluoride. I have two here and one more there, so those will cancel. I have one mole of dichloride oxide and that will cancel out there. So all I'm left with now is two moles of the chlorine fluoride, two moles of the fluoride gas, and two moles of the chlorine trifluoride. But again, that's not what we're asked for. We found it for two moles, we know that enthalpy is going to be negative 270 kilojoules, but in order to get the reaction that we want, we can divide it by two. So I get an enthalpy of 100, negative 135.1 kilojoules. For number nine, let's see what we can do. I have my C6H4OH2 here, and I need that one as a reactant. So I'm just going to keep that one as is. No changes to the enthalpy there. For my second reaction, I need the hydrogen peroxide to be a reactant, not a product. So I'm going to flip that one. So my enthalpy becomes from negative to positive. Looking at what's ahead, I have one mole of oxygen here, but I have half a mole here. So in order to make my life a little bit easier, I'm just going to multiply this whole equation by two. So now I'm going to have two moles of gaseous water instead of one mole. So that means I'm going to also going to have to multiply this equation by two. So doing that, I'm going to double my enthalpy to negative 87.6 and doubling the fourth reaction as well will give me an enthalpy of negative 483.6. Looking at what will cancel, my gas water will cancel my oxygens will cancel. I have two moles of hydrogen here, so I have one, two there, so that'll cancel. So I'm left with the one mole of the C6H4OH2, one mole of the hydrogen peroxide, one mole of the C6H4O2, and two moles of water. So then I just have to add up my enthalpies to get negative 202.6 kilojoules. And last but not least, number 10. Instead of given three steps, we're given four. So make sure you have enough room on your paper to do this one. Let's see what we can do. My first equation gives me the nitrogen gas as a product and I need it as a product. So I'm just gonna keep it as is. 
no changes there. So no changes in enthalpy, it'll stay the same. For my second reaction, it has the N2H4 as a product and I need it as a reactant. So I'm going to flip it, but not only am I gonna do that, I now have three moles of liquid water. I can multiply this one by three to cancel it out. So flipping it and multiplying it by three, I get an enthalpy of 951 kilojoules. My third one, I have ammonia as a reactant here, and here I have it as a reactant. And in order to cancel them, since it's nowhere in the reaction that I need, I'm going to flip my third reaction. So that's gonna change my enthalpy from negative to positive. Now for my fourth reaction, I have hydrogen gas, half a mole of oxygen gas, and one mole of liquid water. I have nine hydrogen gases that I need to actually cancel. So I'm gonna multiply my fourth reaction by nine. So doing that, multiplying my enthalpy by nine, will give me an enthalpy of negative 2,574 kilojoules. So let's see what'll cancel. My nine hydrogens will cancel. I have three waters here that'll cancel. I have one water here. This one will become eight. My two ammonias will cancel. I have four total dinitrogen tetrahydrides. I have half a mole of oxygen here. So then this will just become eight over two. So four. Um, let's see what else, what else? I have four moles of the nitrogen. My three dinitrogen monoxides are gonna cancel. Yes, I know it looks messy, but it's what's gonna get us through this. So writing everything that we have left over, we have four moles of that nitrogen tetrahydride, four moles of oxygen, four moles of nitrogen gas, and eight moles of water. So that enthalpy is negative 2,490 kilojoules. But we made four times as much that we needed. So I'm gonna have to divide my final one by four. So that means that my final enthalpy for this reaction is gonna be negative 623 kilojoules. Right. Congratulations, you survived. You made it through all 10 of these problems. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'm here to help, but other than that, stay safe, and I'll see you all next time.